What's up dudes and dudes, it's the year and up. My name's Seth and we are back again for another Trove to Trove tutorial video. And today we're gonna to be talking about Cinnabar, how you actually attain it. Where do you actually get it? Because some people still actually don't seem to know where to get this new resource from. It's going to be the red ore of the game that is required for crafting a lot of the new stuff. Uh, most notably, ring crafting is going to end up taking a lot of them, and even this phoenix mount, which is absolutely beautiful, is going to end up taking them as well. Uh, it's going to be an exclusive ore to the Forbidden Spires biome, which is going to end up spawning in U6 and higher. There's a bug right now where it spawns in everything lower than U6 as well, very rarely, but it shouldn't. Like, it even spawns in Novice. It's really, really weird. Hopefully that ends up getting patched sometime soon. But anyways, that's besides the point. This is the ore right here. If you're wondering why it looks so bright and vibrant, it's because I'm on the PC version of Trove and I'm actually rocking a mod that makes all of the ore a lot more vibrant. It makes them kind of glow so that you can actually see them very easily because otherwise it's a little bit more difficult to actually see. But most of all, it's got to do with the fact that the terrain itself can kind of be a little bit difficult to see the ores uh, just because you can see we got a lot of rocky terrain here. So I would actually recommend there's a couple different generations that the Forbidden Spires biome can end up having. The plains, I would say, is the best. You'll recognize it if you see it. It's pretty much a lot of flatlands with all the big spiring uh, rock formations that you see like this one right over here. Not necessarily this mountainous canyon area or the swamplands area. Those are actually really difficult to see most of this ore. The biggest reason why this ore is so tough to come by, though, is that that's it. We, didn't, we barely got any Cinnabar out of that, dude. We got six, seven, eight out of, like, maybe three or four blocks Yup, and as I'm recording this, we actually got every daily bonus going on, so that's with the ore bonus and with patron as well, meaning that it's actually even rarer, okay, even rarer to end up getting it if you aren't a patron user and if you're not doing it on ore day, right? Now, last but not least, I just want to point out that as far as ore is concerned, not necessarily meteorite, as you saw right there, but if we look at the infinium, that's going for two each, shape stone. Uh, that's going to also be going for one, if not lower than that. While the Cinnabar is still a more recent resource, so it's actually going for 12, uh, 12 and up, like very, very quickly, depending on supply on demand and people actually grinding these out, right? So over time, I think that the price of Cinnabar is going to end up slowly decreasing, but this kind of seems like the average. That's why I wanted to talk about this video a little later rather than earlier, because I was kind of waiting for the prices to just kind of mellow out and just kind of stay still a little bit there right so it still is a resource worth farming you can end up actually getting quite a bit of flux from it but again it's it's not necessarily the easiest to grind but it's not necessarily difficult at the same time it's kind of like right in the middle there i would say what the is jub jub attacking me anyways that's already it everybody so thank you so much for watching sign or and stay epic